Hi friends, welcome to Mechanical Explosions. Now in this part we are going to see about the air lanes. Air lanes in the sense you already know, consider this as an aircraft in which the wings are been like this. So from this wings you take, uh, we'll be zooming out. So in this wing there will be a part. So this part is termed to be air lens. So this air lens is used to adjust. So what it is when the air lens are more the trailing edge also moves. When the air lens is moving the trailing edge is also moving which leads to while the leading edge will be remain the same portion. We will be discussing this concept briefly. So you should know where the air lens is being present in the plane. So airfoil looking at a at the cross section of this wing assuming it has no moving part but what about the parts air lens hanging on it back of it well, we will be seeing first the airfoil so this airfoil with the wing card is being present so I already said this is a leading edge this is a leading edge and this is termed to be the trailing edge and the wing card is being present here so in this part we are what is saying that this trailing edge is being denoted like this that is like this this trailing edge is being separator in which it is a movable part so when this trailing edge is being moving this airfoils also moving so this airfoils I already said you can see the airfoils in this wing I already distinguished the airfoil like this this is termed to be the airfoils in the wing so when the airfoil moves the trailing edge also moves this is termed to be the trailing edge the trailing edge also moves while the leading edge because the leading edge doesn't move it will be in a same position so this is the main concept behind the airfoil so what is making this airfoil is that when this is been this is termed to be the relative air force and this relative air force is being in a parallel stream and what happens when you change this when you move this trailing edge what happens when you move this trailing edge the main concept you are going to see here so already seen that the airfoil will be like this and now the trailing edge is been moving so this is termed to be the leading edge and this is termed to be the trailing edge so when what happens when the trailing edge is moving so the airfoil is like this this trailing edge is been come like this portion so the wind cord will be like this portion here the wind cord will be like this portion in this portion it will be inclined to this trailing edge so in this the relative air force will be like this so what will be happen here so when this trailing edge is been moving this change the angle of attack so if you can see the relative air force is here what is the angle of attack here what is the angle of attack here this 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 two parts the angle of attack is being changed so this changes the angle of attack now there is more lift than before so when you are moving this trailing edge the main thing is that you are getting more lift than before so more lift in the sense more angle of attack that is large angle of attack so if you want to know what is large angle of attack you should go to my last video and can see you uh, can see what is large angle of attack and what is small angle of attack so in this video we are going to see what is airlines and how by changing airlines the angle of attack has been more so in this concept the this change in the angle of attack now there is more lift because than before because this trailing edge is being moved and it creates the more angle of attack and it produce more lift than before so this is termed to be the fundamental how a aircraft it's been controlled itself by using the primary control i want to share you that how a aircraft is being controlled by using its primary control so this airlines are termed to be the primary controls so this this is the fundamental things in which the how the aircraft is being controlled by using this primary controls like these things so by using this trailing edge only this angle of attack is being created more and this uh, due to this angle of attack there will be more lift than before so more lift in the sense there will be more energy to this there will be more power more lift in the sense the aircraft is growing more and more and the lift is produced more so 
automatically the formula of rho v square a c l is in, this, in which we have discussed in previous the lift is being i so only by using this arrow lines in this plane so this is the main reason how the aircraft is being controlled itself by using the primary control hope so friends this concept of air lines is very much essential for the aircraft hope so you understand this concept if you need any videos or if you having any doubts in this concept you can leave in comments we'll clarifying will be clarifying this doubts and your queries are always welcome if you want any more lessons you can comment in my lessons thank you thanks for watching see you in next coming lessons